Hello, and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Patricia Tomlinson, curator at the Appleton Museum of Art. Today, I wanted to show you a beautiful cylinder vessel from the late classic time period, which is roughly 600 to 950 CE. And the culture is undesignated, but the motifs, which I will describe to you in a moment, point that it is possibly from the Maya. When we look at this vessel, we see a seated individual with his hand in the air, and this person is seated on some type of little platform, and there are bands of repeating glyph signs that frame the figure on the top and the bottom. Let's take a detailed look at the top portion of the human figure. There are several visual clues that lead us to believe that this is an elite individual, a male, who is probably some type of lord. He wears elegant jewelry and has a beautiful long pendant earring. We also notice that he has a very elaborate plumed headdress that is zoomorphic or in the shape of an animal. When we look at the lower portion of the male figure, we see that he is seated with his legs tucked underneath him. We see an elaborate belt and just the barest suggestion of his loincloth, which falls over his knees. One of the most important signifiers of rank in this painted depiction is that he both wears and is seated upon jaguar skins. Jaguars had very important spiritual meaning to these ancient peoples, and to be seated upon a throne with a jaguar skin was to definitely designate you as an important person in the society. I also wanted to mention that to have a vessel created solely for you in the first place is also a big signifier of rank and importance. These vessels were extremely important. This particular one probably held chocolate. And to have one created specifically for you was an important luxury item. Although this depiction was most likely highly idealized and not an accurate representation of this particular individual, all of the elements in this portrayal of his figure point to his status, his importance, and his rulership. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to sharing more Art Minutes with you soon. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.